December 24th. Happy, happy holidays. Merry Christmas, everybody. Another package picked up and I will show you everything. So make sure you watch this video to the end. Love you guys. And hey, we did it guys, we did it. Uh, all right guys, so here it is. I'm showing you, I'm cutting out the material that I need to make these outfits. The package that I showed you, I was waiting for that to come and it arrived. So now I was able to go ahead and start making my items that I need. So here it is, I'm cutting out the image for my um, sweatsuits that I'm making. And as you see, I'm using my Cricut machine to do the cutout, which I advise you guys, if you don't have one, is something to think about to invest in you really don't need it you can if you have study hands you can cut your images out with scissors it works so that's what i just want to show you all and now i'm going to show you how i press my outfit so here those are the images that i made and i cut out on my machine so as you see here i'm pressing the image onto the sweatsuit the first one it says um what does it say it says blessings mm, i forgot what it says guys honestly we all going to see it together but um so the first one is a pink sweatsuit and it has the um the multicolored holograph and um oh there we go it says thankful grateful and blessed and blessed it so that's the um the top that you see that's the um hoodie which it came out so 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 beautiful as you can see like it is beautiful i'm sorry guys it's a sweatshirt it's not a hoodie the other one is a i did two I did too, so you will see the second one. The first one is a sweatsuit. It's the jogger pants and the sweatshirt. And they are both um, came out beautiful. And I set the temperature. I don't remember. Um, like I said, anytime you're dealing with um, heat vinyl, it comes, it, it definitely tells you the temperature to use if you're pressing using a press or using a hand iron it tells you the temperature and the timing so i believe this one is at three i want to say 360 something like that for um 40 45 seconds or something i can't remember god i'm going to try to put the time up leave it up so y'all can see it but i it's somewhere around in that nature and um you know anytime you're dealing with any type of um material please read the instructions because the instructions really tell you everything how to what what um how can i say it gives you step by step put it like that it will tell you the setting it tells you what type of material is best for it it tells you um the the time the length how long to press it for it tells you when to take the pill in or some some um pillings are warm like heat so as soon as you finish that means you can take it off automatically and then some are cool pillings which means you cannot take it off once you finish you need to let it sit it said to sit for 45 seconds, but I actually try to let it sit a little bit longer than 45 seconds just to make sure that it's really cool though because it's a cool pillin. This one that I'm using is a cool pillin. So, yes. And that's what you um see me doing. So, as you see, the L didn't press. I didn't have, I guess, the whole thing over it which i thought i did and i didn't so now i'm going back and i'm just gonna press the l on and then you will see then that will be completely done so i just went back and just set the um timing back 
and I'm pressing to put the L back on and then which didn't take much long it might seem like it's long but it's really not guys like I said always 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 follow the directions read up on what you're doing and this is why I always come to you when I'm doing my work and I, I if I can remember this other youtuber I will leave her name in the link below because she does the same thing I did. She said the same thing. I was watching the video and she said it. She said, I know I'm leaving my mistakes in. I'm not going to take it out because I don't want you guys always thinking that everything is perfect when it's not perfect. And that's how I feel. I want to come and I want you all to see the good with the bad. Because everybody make it look so easy, but they don't show you the errors. And the stuff costs money. The stuff costs money. And you really don't want to be out here throwing away money like that you know what i'm saying guys so i want to come on like i said to come on to show you guys like like what it really is because like i said it costs money guys it really costs money and this is something that we don't want to waste and even on this shirt when i did the shirt i had to do a second press for this shirt because the um the first time same thing you definitely pay attention to what you're doing if you don't have the the heat press because i i have an easy press cricket easy press so you definitely want to make sure you want the heat to even even out through the whole entire shirt jacket blanket pillow whatever you're pressing you want it to the heat temperature need to even out all over so as you see i'm just turning it over and as i'm turning it over i'm just pressing just to, in this and it tells you this so i'm just turning it over just to give it a nice little press and that helps make sure that the vinyl really sticks um stays on it and you always want to give it a nice good stretch and i believe the stress this is just my opinion while i believe they tell you to give it a stretch is because while it's still hot like warm when you stretch it you kind of like stretching the vinyl so that way when a person put it on or whatever is is automatically trained like to stress if that makes sense i don't know if i'm explaining it correctly that's just my thought my opinion while i think they tell you once you press it to go back to turn your item over or even if you don't turn it over just put uh, um the sheet over it put your paper whatever you use put over it and just press it in you know for like five seconds just to make sure that it's really on you so that's why you you see me i'm doing that and then um i turned it over i'm just gonna give it that little press because i didn't have the butcher paper with me so i turned it over on the other side and I'm just giving it a nice five minute, um, not even five minutes, probably like, I want to say probably like 10 seconds just to give it that nice little press. And then I give it that nice little stretch, like I said, and I notice it for um, on my own when I do wear my own product after I do it. I know it, for example, I did one. And I didn't do the stretch, and I seen the difference. I seen the difference. So if it's something that that's a tight fit, and you don't know how to custom wear it, so I recommend to do it. That that stretch right there, because I did it before and I didn't do the stretch, and I seen the difference. So when I did put it on, it was like I'm. It was stretching then. So that's why I think they recommend for you to stretch it while, like I guess while it's still hot. Like I said, this is just my theory. I don't know. I'm just just trying to figure out what's the reason why they act. They tell you to do it, but that's my theory. I think when you stretch it while it's nice and warm, it gives it that little ability of stretch already, like the lettuce. That's just my thought. But anyway, guys, as you see, this came out beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it, guys. It came out so so dope. You know, um, and I made this um for somebody is their christmas present because they didn't get it yet so i don't want to like say who it are who they are and then they see the video be like oh but anyway merry christmas and this is the second one that i'm making and it says this is a um a gray um sweatsuit i'm making it's the hoodie 
it's the um zip up hoodie and um the 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 image says baby is cold outside it's cool outside baby so i did the i what i did was i pressed because the hoodie is a zip up hoodie so i wasn't gonna put it on the front but then i'm like nah it ain't gonna look right like the way that is and if i make it small this is gonna be a little small thing on the thing so i was like you see so i was like you know what i came up in my head like you know what i'm gonna put it on the back so i turned it over as you see and i'm gonna press it on the back of the hoodie and what i did was on the front of the hoodie you will see what i did to the front so we're gonna press the back and on this one i pressed it for 350 for 60 seconds i want to say and the the pattern that it that i use is like a um a army fatigue but it's a it's a pink pink gray and white um type um coloring but it's an army fatigue um pattern so here you're gonna see i'm gonna on this one i'm gonna do one side at it one side and then i'm gonna do the other side and like i just told you i pressed it for, at the heat 350 for 60 seconds yes 350 for 60 seconds and um it came out really really nice i love it i love it i love it it came out beautiful guys and um this was the second one that i um made so your girl was really working over the weekend just so you guys know your girl haven't been slacking at all your girl been busting out these orders getting them done getting them out getting them filled and on i'm on my job tell me who you know you know that that come home from a a nine to five and i can't even say it's a regular nine to five because my job is not a regular nine to five for those of y'all that know the type of work that i do like i'm always on mandatory all the time we're about to go back into um mandatory because we got a special election january i think it's january 18th and and we start january 8th so that gives us no time to even do vacation guys and then we got a special election in february so who you know you know that come home from a, a full-time job and then got to jump into this full-time you gotta grind guys you gotta grind i'm telling you if this is something you want to do you gotta you gotta sacrifice so as you see, I was just letting it cool down while it's cooling down while I was um, cutting the um, piece for the pants. And on this, I, I want to say I had to press it again for a few more seconds because I noticed there was a, a couple of pieces that wasn't that that needed a little. It was like when I went to pull it, I could see it wasn't down all the way. It was pulling up. And how you know, guys, this is a, a kicker. How you know? when the the plastic it is gonna bubble up on the thing so that's when you know that it really stuck and i kind of seen it but i i was wistful thinking i guess wistful thinking so i kind of seen it but i still didn't use my judgment i was like okay maybe i could peel it up and then when i go when i turn it over to press the back it'll be okay that's what i was thinking no I thought wrong guys I thought wrong so like I said don't do what I do this is why I'm showing you so that way you don't do what I do because like I said these things cause a lot material items it, it costs it can get really costly so you know you don't want to ha have all this wasted money so what I'm doing right while the sh the the hoodie is cooling off, the back is cooling off. This is how I kill the time and to try to make it quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the pants. So I'm just trying to set the hoodie in a good position. Which I'm sorry I couldn't show you on camera because it was behind me. So I'm setting that up 
and then I'm going to um go ahead and put the the image on the pants which um doesn't the, the pants doesn't take no time at all guys and 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 one thing I will say to you guys make sure you brand your stuff brand 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 your stuff guys that's a key key game key game brand your stuff and I'm gonna show you how I branded my stuff toward the end of the video you know it doesn't take a lot it doesn't cost a lot it's the same thing so here I'm you know you figure where you want to put it at me myself when I'm doing like the sweats because I know how I like my sweatpants and and I already did a couple so I like to do my um logo like a little bit right up under the pocket to the side and um I just like it and then you know and I want the people to see it I get so many compliments and that's how I got a lot of my orders from wearing my own outfits making my own um jogger sweatsuits and people like oh that's beautiful that's nice where did you get it from oh you know like that and then when you tell them that you made it like they have that disbelief like what you made that yes yes you know i'm going to be like i'm going to say the other word yes b but you be like yes i made that i did that i did that you know what i'm saying i did that your girl did that 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 so like i said you know so while it was cooling off so um now i'm pulling it i'm about to peel it off and what it was is sometimes is like you when you pulling it it's like you have to give it like a force of the um the pull it and sometimes i'll be feeling like that i'm too rough with it when you're really not so don't be scared to pull it guys like as you see i look it looked like i didn't really want to pull it but you have to you know you have to pull it pull it pull it pull it pull it pull it but it came out really really nice guys i love it love it love it love it love it and like i said the um the pattern is a is a um army fatigue in the color of pink gray white and black So, yes, I love it, guys. I love it, love it, love it. So, like I said, you see, I, I get, like, kind of, like, uh, and then I'm trying to remember, I, I, I think I kind of went back and pressed it again. I, sh I did. There you go. Because I wasn't, because I was thinking, like, oh, no, I was scared to pull it. And, um, and I really didn't have to, but I did. Cause I was scared to pull it. I was thinking that the image wasn't wasn't um wasn't on it, and the image is really on it. You just have to give it like pull it, and it, and the thing about it, it pulls right. It, it it basically like pulls or once you get that first pull, it kind of just pulls right on off. But like I said, I was I was doing too much and um not paying attention to what I'm doing. So that's a key thing. When you're about to, when you're working on things, give it your one hundred percent attention until you're finished. Everything else is on standstill. So as you see, I did the um the second press. And it's just like, ah, uh, I wasn't feeling it. And I and I said, let me do it a little quick. And I felt like at that end piece, it wasn't um, sticking, which I was correct on that one. And that's when I was, when I was, when I was saying it, if you go back to when I was pressing the, the pink um, sweatsuit, when I was telling you, you got to get that even heat. So what I should have done was on this one, I should have did the one part first for the um 350 and the 60 seconds and then once that 60 seconds was done move it lift it up and move it to the other side and begin the same process so that way it got the even heat 
throughout the whole thing. But what I did do is, as you see me moving around, and this, I don't even know why I was doing that, because that's one thing. Is if it's something small than here, but if it's something big, that's that's a no-no. You don't want to be moving it around. You want to take it. You want to put it on the image. You want to give it a slurm, a a slurm, um, press, and let it let it do what it do for whatever the seconds you have it set. If it's forty seconds, thirty seconds, sixty seconds, whatever it is, and you let it beep once it's beep you pick it up don't slide it pick it up and move it to the other side and let it repeat the same progress so we get the whole even coat so there you see it i i did the pants i was showing you the pants and now this is the shirt i just have to remove the um paper yeah okay, so this is the front and you see i put the name it says girl and you see what i said branch 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 i think i put my logo shared beer is down on east bottom of the sleeve because so this is the front of the hoodie being that the color is as you see it has black and this is the second one and like i said i branched it with my name guys they came out so perfect thank you for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe